And a rather bizarre death to report this morning of the British man who now owns the Segway company. You may be familiar with the Segway. It sort of looks like an electric scooter. Turns out he was found dead at the bottom of a cliff. CBS News correspondent Mark Phillips has more. The Segway has always seemed to defy the laws of nature. A two-wheeled, one-person vehicle steered by leaning and kept upright by a series of gyroscopes, except for some of the time. Segway crashes are regular internet entertainment. And a new study at George Washington University in Washington has found a quarter of the people who fall off the thing sustain serious head injuries. However tricky it is to ride a Segway on land, it wasn't designed to float. The body of the British man, who liked the Segway so much he bought the company, was found, along with his machine, in this river near his home in northern England. It had apparently skidded down this steep bank. Police say the death is not suspicious. 62-year-old Jimmy Heseldon, who took over the U.S.-based Segway 10 months ago, was a rags-to-riches story. He was a high school dropout, laid off coal miner who made a fortune designing and building the portable blast barriers that are filled with rocks and dirt and used extensively by U.S. and other forces in war zones. And a lot of the money he made, he poured back into the working class neighborhood in which he grew up. It was just a down to earth guy. Money meant nothing to Jimmy. I don't think there's anybody on this estate can say a bad word about Jimmy Heseldon. But a lot of people are asking whether the machine that was supposed to revolutionize personal transport is as safe as advertised. Mark Phillips, CBS News, London.